Oh, he's right. You've complained for years about the danger of your Iron Chancellor. How can you support him now? Germany is still made up of many small states. It must be united to achieve its destiny in Europe. With Prussia as its master? It is the strongest power. And to prove it, it attacks a country not one-tenth of its size. They have attacked no one yet. Because they expect us to surrender Schleswig and Holstein without a fight. Holstein is partly German. And Schleswig is wholly Danish. What right do you have to claim both? We have the right of... He is not. I told him I would never receive him under any circumstances. You told him? I didn't send the reply, sir. What? Not in that form, ma'am. It was too blunt. How dare you? How dare well, you? Well, Knowles is right. You must see him. I am not well enough. That's what I told the king. Of course not. Minnie, I think you should, Alex. Really? No. Alex? I shall never forget what happened to my country. Crawl if you must. I shall never forgive. Never. That's enough. It is your duty to put your personal feelings behind you. But you, madam, will behave as my wife. You shall receive the King of Prussia. To appear in court. A prince of the blood. Well, I must not stand on privilege. There's no getting out of it. Do you realize what this could mean? Do you? It has taken 30 years to restore confidence in the monarchy. And now you could destroy it in a week. I've simply been called as a witness. I haven't been accused. All that people will remember is that you were called into a court of law to answer for your conduct. Well, how bad will it be? What will happen? Well, I, I shall be cross-examined in court on my relationship with Lady Morton. Merely on account of what she said in hysteria. Well, I, I wrote her some letters. I found her amusing. I should have thought even you, even you. Am I pretty, Oliver? I want the truth, mind. Am I as pretty as Lady Brooke? You're beautiful, ma'am. It's far above prettiness. Oliver, do you think so? Do you really think so? I do. Thank you. Thank you, my dear. Well, you'll have to get married one day. I know, when it's a bore, isn't it? The question is who? Well, I thought you were keen on cousin Alexander of Hesse. It's Alecky. It's no good, dear boy. She won't have me. She's going to marry young Nicholas. Lady Brooke, will you explain Lady Brooke to me, Bertie? The whole episode is in the past, my dear. Oh, yes, I understood. I understood and I waited, thinking that one day it would end. But it doesn't end, Bertie. It goes on. Mrs. Langtree, that American woman, and now Lady Brooke. I find her amusing. He has you. You must help him. Oh, yes, if I can. But since he's married Alec, the German influence is very strong. You know, it was the Kaiser who finally persuaded her to become orthodox so that the marriage could take place. That man, he has a hand in every pie. Bertie says he behaved appallingly at Cowes again this year. Oh, how is Bertie? I should love to see him. He loved it too, you know. Your grandfather. Oh, yes. It is very pleasant here. I hope Nicky is enjoying himself. Country hasn't always been proud of me, eh, William? I've always believed that if you had been given the opportunity, sir... Yes, I know, I know, and you did your best to get it for me. We all tried, didn't we? I wonder why nothing ever came of it. I'm afraid I should find the full Thanksgiving service in the Abbey too tiring this time. Although, of course, there will be a family Thanksgiving here in St George's Chapel on the Sunday. Sir Arthur Sullivan has composed a special jubilee hymn.